Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip. We're going to have a little fun in messages on your iOS device. I'm going to show you how to add an emoji or bitmoji stickers to your messages. An emojis are only available on the iPhone 10, but you can use bitmojis instead. Okay, it's time to step up your text messaging game and have a little fun. So here I am in messages. The first way that you can reply to individual messages is using the built-in tap back feature. Simply double tap on any reply and you get the option to add a heart, thumbs up, thumbs down. You can add the ha ha, the exclamation mark, or the question mark, okay? If you have an iPhone 10 and you want to reply to somebody's message with an N emoji, all you need to do is press on the little monkey down at the bottom there. Just press on one, you'll see that you can get a little grip there. You can just drag it to a message, and that person is going to get the N emoji right away. If you want to delete an N emoji you sent, you just simply press and hold on it. You get a little menu pop up, click sticker details, just drag it and delete. Because I'm sending it to myself, I'm getting a duplicate, but I'll show you again. Press sticker details, drag it, and delete. Bitmojis work the exact same way, so just tap on the Bitmoji. Find one you want, just press on it, and drag it onto any message, and that person is going to get that right away. And you can drag as many as you want on top of each other, just layer them all up there. And the same thing, if you want to delete a Bitmoji, just simply press and hold on it. You'll get a menu pop up at the bottom, press sticker details, swipe, and delete. So one thing to note. You cannot record a video with audio like you're seeing here and drag it to an individual thread for an N emoji, but you can record an N emoji video, send it as a message, and then drag a bunch of N emojis or bitmojis on top of it like you see down there. So my name is Mike Murphy. That is how you add N emojis or bitmoji stickers and messages on your iOS device. Cheers.